you get this letter and you open it and you find out where you're going for mm -hmm. the next 18 months. And like, you live there, you learn the language, you're completely immersed in like the culture. Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I have these two beautiful young ladies and they're going to tell us about themselves. Uh, should we start with you? You introduce yourself. Sure. Yes. Okay, so like Naomi said, um, we're here from the United States. My name is Brianna. My name is Liz. Yes, and um, we're here as missionaries with the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints. And we live here in Sweden for 18 months and serve and talk to people. And so today we're going to be talking a little bit more about that. I'm from Idaho in the United States. I'm 20. And so we kind of came on our missions right after we graduated from high school. My name is Liz. I'm 19 years old. Um, like Brianna said, I came to Sweden right after I graduated high school. So I graduated high school and then I um, came to Sweden in around January of 2024. Um, How okay. did you like end up coming to Sweden? Sweden. Yeah. Yeah, my journey to get to Sweden it was kind of cool. I didn't really know that I wanted to go on a mission, but it was kind of quick once I did. Once I decided, I um, it's kind of a process. We filled out some paperwork, we submit it to our church, and then we don't get to decide where we go. So I received my mission call, is what it's called. Um, and after I received my mission call, I opened it, and um, I found out I was coming to Sweden, and so now I'm here. Okay, that's actually exciting to call it mission call. It yeah. sounds so professional and very exciting. Like, were, were you not like kind of afraid, scared? Or was it your I... first time to be in Scandinavia? Yes, so it's my, it was my first time coming to Scandinavia. I was honestly, mm -hmm. I wasn't super scared because I knew going into it that I would go wherever I got, I got assigned. I knew that um, this was something I wanted to do, and regardless of where I was going to live for the ex next 18 months, I was going to make the most out of it. Absolutely. So, I think that's really brave for a <laughs> night. It's, um, it's actually brave because I'm thinking about like Sweden is not a, like, a really, really, really English-speaking country. Right. So um, I'm not saying that they completely don't speak English, but it's really more Swedish, Swedish, Swedish. Mm -hmm. So did you think about that? Or did you do your research about Sweden or anything? <laughs> yeah, so like I said, we didn't get to choose, mm -hmm. but knowing, like, once I submitted my, once I submitted that I wanted to come onto a mission, Yeah. Um, that was basically me saying, I'm willing to go wherever I need to go, and I'm willing to learn whatever language I need to learn. So I received that, that mission call to Sweden, and with that came the responsibility of learning Swedish. I so. don't need to have such commitment. <laughs> it's really cool no. though, too, because we, like, I don't know how to explain it. Like, I have friends who are also missionaries in South America, in Africa, in Mexico, in other European countries. Basically anywhere that would be safe to send Christian missionaries, Yeah, there, there are. And so, it's really interesting, I don't really know how to describe, but like, you get this letter, and you open it, and you find out where you're going for mm -hmm. the next 18 months, and like, you live there, you learn the language, you're completely immersed in like, the culture, Yeah. and then that place just becomes like, a part of you, kind of. Exactly. Like, I know like, people who have returned from their missions, who are like, old now, and they still are like, talk about like, Germany, or they talk about Mexico, with just like, such fondness, and like, they can speak the language still maybe a little bit, or they have like fun family traditions that they do because they learned them when they were like abroad. And so it's just really cool, like I never would have had like a connection to Sweden in that way. Yeah. But now I do. And it wasn't really something that like I chose, like Sweden particularly. Wait a minute, how long have you been in Sweden? I've been here since last March. So I've been here for 14 months. Wow. Like since since last year, right? Yeah. Wow. Yeah. I've been here since January, so I've been here how many months? Like five yeah. months now. Okay, I actually, uh, my my brains are running. Like my mind is <laughs> messy right now because I feel like um, you guys are really young, and to make such a decision, I feel like it's like a commitment on the highest level. Like you have like 
your faith is like so strong that wait I, I think I'm gonna get emotional because a 19 year old deciding to actually you are ready to move you are ready for that you don't even know where you're going at that age what was I doing <laughs> That's something that's kind of interesting actually is that like I felt like I graduated high school and I was like What am I gonna do with my life? Like mm. I have no idea. I was like college sounds Interesting, but I have no idea what I would study. Mm. I can't go get a career right now because I do not know what I would want to do Yeah, and so it's just like I just felt like kind of like lost and I was like, I don't know mm. but I had a lot of friends who were being called on missions and yeah. like they just talked so highly of it and like how good of an experience it was for them and I guess maybe we're gonna get into this later but yeah. I feel like when I was in high school like my faith actually wasn't that strong mm. like it was kind of like eh, iffy you know like I have been a member of this church my whole life but uh -huh. that's it, the question I was going to come with like yeah. are you trained from childhood like since you were a child or is it did it just like Come. Right, yeah, so I like technically, like my parents are members, I've like been a member of this church my whole life, mm -hmm. but I feel like part of the reason that I came on my mission was to like solidify that faith. Yeah. I like knew that like if I could do something and like show like how dedicated I was, mm -hmm. then I would like be able to like get myself to that point where I was all in, you know? Because like I don't know if I really was that before I came here. I don't yeah. know if I could say that. But I knew that, like, this level of dedication that you talk about, I knew that, like, that would get me all in, right? <laughs> yeah, and, like, I mean, this one you are ticks all the boxes sweet. for me. When I think about it, it's, it's a big thing. I mean, if if um, a 45 year old come and tell me what you're telling me, I'm not gonna be surprised. Mm -hmm. I'm not gonna be shocked because I'm like, yeah, yeah, you can do that. <laughs> You've had that experience, you know. Exactly. Yeah. But when I think about when I think about a 19 year old and then I try to remember when I was at that age and I'm trying to imagine if this if this happens to me will I be able to make that decision I don't think so but <laughs> so that's why I'm like it's very um, I'm, I'm, I'm really surprised at the same time my heart is happy that there are actually young people who are really like who are really strong in their faith and I'm also like thinking about in Denmark um, I wouldn't talk about any other country of Sweden because I don't know how the Swedish young people behave mm -hmm. but Copenhagen to be specific uh, the young people are really kind of like party animals like it's the <laughs> 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 they're kind of like you know when they finish high school it's either like they're going to work like it's a, like a break to just work and party, work mm -hmm. and party, and some of them they can choose to work like for one more year, and then they will travel all around the world. Like they will travel okay. and like, and then after when like they're like 25, then they come back. Then they'll be like, ah, okay, now let me think about my future. <laughs> then like they go back again to think about going back to school. Uh, to think about okay do I want to have this or this that's when like the real real life for them will start so that's why I'm, I'm like wow you guys I feel like this is powerful like it's amazing and it's really amazing especially like coming all the way from another country to another country not to have like not to wear a bikini not to do anything but really starving is really encouraging and Hi, 19. What was I doing? <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's funny. It's crazy. <laughs> yeah. It's I had a crisis too because I turned 20 when I was here in Sweden. 